Hello, it's Sasa and happy holidays. So today we're going to be making um, Hong Kong style egg tarts. In Chinese, uh, Cantonese is called dan tat. Dan, dan, dan tat. Okay, so they look like this. They're super easy. There are only three ingredients. Okay, so we have whipping cream, we have eggs, and we have sugar. That's it. And the pastries, they're already pre-bought, uh, pre, um, so they're pre-made, so it's really so fast. You just pretty much dump everything in um, a glass um, pitcher. You whisk it up, put them in, bake it, and it's all ready, fresh. Eat it, like, right away. Right now, they're, like, still really hot, so this is the best time to eat it. Um, these are really popular in Hong Kong. Obviously, that's why they're called. So this is the three-ingredient egg tart recipe. So you need eggs whipping cream and sugar okay to make the egg tart mixture it's nice to use like some kind of container that has a spout so that it'll be easier to pour into the egg tarts um later on so you need two large eggs and you're going to add one at a time and you're going to whip them since i don't use large eggs i actually buy peewee eggs because the large ones kind of scare me um so i want to do three baby eggs so the peewee eggs so you add one at a time and you whisk it up then you add the next one. Okay, now we're going to add three tablespoons of sugar. We're going to stir this. Okay, so now we're going to add half a cup of whipping cream. So this is whipping cream. It's the stuff that you use to make the cream like for cakes. So we're at half a cup. Okay, this one you want to lightly stir in, okay? It's important not to overbeat it because it will turn into cream. And if you overbeat it even way too much, it turns into butter. That's why I don't recommend using an electric mixer because you could just use a fork, okay? So we stir this up. Now our mixture is ready. Okay, so this uses the regular um, uh, pre-made the tart shells. So this is what they look like. So this is you you use these to make like meat pies and other stuff as well. So it's already pre-made. These are frozen tart shells, and you can get it in the frozen section, right? You know, with the frozen French fries. And so with a fork, you want to stab like the bottom a little bit. Okay, this is for ventilation purposes, and so that the um, pastry part won't um, burst or like explode. It's like, it's similar to when you're making a baked potato or like a baked sweet potato. You're supposed to stab it with a fork or with a knife to give it some air to escape. Because if not, your like potato's gonna blow up in the oven, okay? That's the purpose of this. And these tarts are cooked from frozen. So you take them out of the freezer, you place them out and you're ready. You don't need to defrost them or else it's gonna turn all mushy. So now with our mixture, we're gonna carefully pour some into each of them. Okay, so place them in the uh, in the oven for 20 minutes, and this is at 375 degrees Celsius. So now you can see that the egg tarts, they have like puffed up a lot, so they're like little balloons. Okay, so this is going to happen. Don't like get worried or like think it's going to blow up in a big bomb in your oven. So you just wait until the tops are somewhat golden brown. Okay, and also at this point, you can also check and like stick it with a toothpick or like a sharp knife to check because sometimes the sender can be still runny and we still want, we want it to be fully cooked. So now you can see they're golden brown the tops and they're puffy, so they're starting to sink down. Poke, poke, poke. Okay, so it's all done. Let's take a look. So yummy. These are not just great for the holidays, but they're also really good for if you have guests over and you're just having tea time, because you can pop these in, you make them fresh right out of the oven. They taste the best thing ever. So enjoy egg tarts year round. Okay, so that's the end of this tutorial. So I hope you had um, fun watching it. And now you're gonna go out to the store and buy all your ingredients to make it because these are like just so awesome, okay? Um, super delicious you can probably just eat like a whole half dozen and then well don't eat a whole half dozen you'll probably get sick so make it for your family and enjoy the holidays bye bye thank you